It is your girl, Ellen DeGeneres, or should I say Ellen Degenerate? <laughs> but I am here today to bring you by far one of my favorite videos on this channel, period. Period. Now this video would not be possible without your guys' support, without you guys smashing that like button down below. So make sure you take a second right now, smash that like button. I'm challenging you guys right now. Can we please get 500,000 likes? In the last two videos that I did that were similar to this got 3,000 and 4,000 likes respectively. If you guys can beat 4,000 likes, I'll even do a giveaway for you guys. And I'm not talking about the strange love giveaway that I'm doing right now on my Instagram. I'm talking about a completely separate giveaway. So make sure you smash the like button down below. Let's get this video to more than 4,000 likes. And while you're down there, of course, make sure you show some love in the comments. The comments, the support, everything has been so insane lately. So thank you guys. Now, not only would this video not be possible without your guys' support, but this video would also not be possible without Farfetch. And speaking of Farfetch, real quick we got a discount code for you guys so anything you guys want to buy from farfetch all you got to do is use my code star s-t-a-r-r one zero ff that's star as in my last name that's 10 as in the percentage in which you will be saving and ff as in farfetch that discount code will be in the description along with the terms and conditions of that discount code as well but save yourself some money i'm telling you guys like i'm going to talk about right now farfetch literally has everything okay everything now, for whatever god-awful reason, if you do not know what Farfetch is, Farfetch is an online retailer that has by far one of the largest selections of all online retailers. They have everything from streetwear to high-end designer, and they only continue to expand their collection. I always find new stuff on Farfetch. I literally just found out they even sell vintage. Like, my mind was literally blown. Also, for those of you guys that don't know, Farfetch owns stadium goods, so they sell a lot of hype sneakers that you can literally buy from stadium goods right on Farfetch. Now, essentially, the reason that Farfetch has such a large selection is because of their business business model. Essentially, they don't actually have stuff in a warehouse that's being stored by them. The stuff that you see on Farfetch's website is actually being sold by trusted retailers around the world. LA, New York, Italy, Spain, all over the world, they have basically shops that sell designer goods, streetwear, whatever, and Farfetch is basically a platform where those websites can kind of get their name out there and still make sales. And with a lot of these shops closing down and people struggling to go to work, Farfetch really helps those companies out, which I think is super dope. And I'm telling you guys, you can find some amazing deals on Farfetch. Farfetch. I will leave a link to Farfetch down in the description below. And of course, there will be a link to all the items that I show you guys in this video, as well as some links to some items that I have my eye on that I'm kind of thinking about pulling the trigger on. Now, I'm going to show you guys the clothes that I got from Farfetch. I'm going to lather my body in these garments. I'm going to be draped up and dripped out with these fabrics, caressing my skin. You're literally going to watch your girl Ellen DeGeneres. You want to see me do my dance in these thousand dollar pants. Go Super Saiyan 3 in civilian fatigues looking like my man Trunks. Don't disrespect me and my man's baby. Oh, like chops on your ass. We are gonna make the transformation today, but thank you guys so much for rocking with me and thank you to Farfetch. It's like a one-stop shop. You can go there and find literally anything. Streetwear, designer, vintage, shoes, whatever you need, Farfetch has it. So anyways, thank you guys so much and let's go. What the? Who's knocking at my door right now? All right, guys, we are back home, and of course, we gotta grab some of the pants that we got from Farfetch, these right here. We're just gonna grab all three of these. By the way, look at the pants I'm wearing today. I'm telling you guys, if you want to see the pants collection, smash that like button. Now, that being said, let's place this camera down. Let's go over some of these products and discuss some of the recent pickups that we've gotten from Farfetch. I do wanna say, I'm gonna show you guys how these pieces fit. I'm also gonna talk about the brands that I showcase, because I am showing off some brands that I have not shown off on this channel. But the first brand is definitely not a newer brand on the channel, and that is of course these Fendi pants. I had to pick these up. These are the Fendi motif trousers. You guys can see it's an all white pant. It's kind of got like a little creme de la creme tint, just like a little bit of bukkake flavor on there. You see that double F stitched throughout the entire pant. Super freaking nice quality. And you guys know, if you guys watch the channel, I love a lot of the pants that have these old like monogram. So I love the double G monogram, the Fendi monogram. Of course, I have several pairs of pants that have the Louis Vuitton monogram. I just ordered a really crazy one, which like I said, if you want to see the pants collection and the recent addition to the pants collection make sure you smash the like button but of course i had to add this to the collection i love the color and i do have a lot of love for fendi fendi is a brand that i do appreciate i needed to get the pants i need to get matching jackets for these pants but for right now we're starting with the lower body the thigh coverings and of course my thigh will be covered with double f's all over now for those of you guys that don't know the double f was actually created by carl lagerfeld and i apologize if i'm butchering his last name in the 1960s now obviously if you guys are familiar with fendi you guys know fendi is much older than that fendi started in 1925 so it is almost a hundred years old.
years old, which is pretty freaking crazy. It's an Italian luxury brand that started in Rome, and originally it became popular or got a lot of notoriety from its luxury furs and leather goods. That's why even still to this day, if you look at a lot of their leather goods or their fur goods, they go for insane <laughs> amounts of money. And when Karl Lagerfeld actually produced this little Fendi graphic right here, the Fendi motif, whatever you want, I don't know what you'd freaking call it, it originally stood for fun furs, and he created the graphic, well, at least he claims he created this iconic a double F logo in three seconds, which makes sense. I mean, it's a pretty simple, it's just two Fs literally inverted. I mean, of course. But who would have known that such a simple graphic would become this iconic staple for the brand, you know, 50 plus years later. Now, I don't know if it still stands for Fun Furs. I've seen even Fendi refer to it as Fendi Forever. I don't know for sure what it currently stands for. Now, for the first fit that I'm gonna show you guys, there's another brand that I got from Farfetch, which I'm super excited to show you guys. I don't know much about this brand, so if you guys have any information on it, let me know in the comments below, please. I would greatly appreciate it. But we have these shoes from Toga Virilis. Now, now, Toga Virilis is a brand that's based out of Japan, I believe. And Toga Virilis means Toga of Manhood. And what's really fascinating about these shoes is these shoes are something that like my mom would like. Hi, Annie. Anyways, I drove a whole hour just to ask my mom her opinion on these shoes. Mom, what do you think of these right here? <laughs> Seriously? I do like them, actually. You have all these metal detailings, a lot of decor around the shoe, a little metal hit right there on the back of the uh, midsole. Is it still called a midsole? I apologize if I sound super low fashion, but I'm more of a sneakerhead and a streetwear guy than a high-end guy. I just appreciate clothing of all sorts, and I really appreciate even shoes of all sorts as well. These are super nice. They fit absolutely amazing. One thing about Farfetch that I absolutely love is they have a fit predictor. So essentially, they will predict the fit of a certain shoe based off past purchases. So like this shoe, for example, they predicted the fit of this beautiful, magnificent masterpiece of a shoe right here, of a foot covering, based on the size that I got for the off-white sandals like a couple months back, which I got those at a super killer deal. But anyways, that being said, super freaking cool shoes. I love the way these fit. Thank you, Farfetch, because I would have gotten a 42, but they told me to get a 43, and it did work out well for me. Like I said, Togo Realist, you see the inside. It smells so freaking nice. As you guys can see, I've already put some wear into them. In fact, I did do an outfit with these and the Fendi motif trousers. Really, the button-up that I wore with that was from Born and Raised, which kind of matches with the pants that I'm currently wearing from Capital. And although I don't think they currently have that button-up on Farfetch, Farfetch does carry Born and Raised. Farfetch also carries Capital. I'm telling you guys, Farfetch has everything. They have Japanese brands, Italian brands, US brands, which you guys are gonna see in a moment. But before I show you guys that, let's go check out this freaking fit. Hopefully you guys like it because uh, uh, it's a little bit different for me, but like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think down below. I really like that, so let me know what you think in the comments down below, so it's kind of a little bit redundant. But anyways, hopefully you guys like the outfit. But we have some more items to show off from Farfetch. The next item we're gonna show off is this liquid swords tee. For those of you guys that are more into streetwear and listen to like high-end designer brands, like myself, for example, Farfetch does carry other brands as well. They carry Supreme, for example. I got this in a size large. On the back, it says basic instructions before leaving Earth. If you guys look, it's an acronym for Bible, and this was actually a bonus track from this album, Liquid Swords, which is an album by Jizza, and Jizza is obviously a member of the Wu. Tang clan. It is not one of the members that Kais got in his full size run episode, but shout out my brother Kais. Can we come to five members of Wu Tang? Uh, Red Man, Method Man. Red um, Man's not in Wu Tang. He's not? No. 
Yeah, whatever. Super cool tee, and I'm super glad to actually get this in the collection. These have been skyrocketing in price, and I actually got this for a little bit less than what the current market is, or at least what I see on StockX. You can find deals on Supreme. Keep in mind that when Farfetch posts items from Supreme, it's being posted by trusted retailers. I think I took an L on this that week, and obviously being a fan of Wu-Tang and Liquid Swords being such an iconic album, of course, I had to add that to the collection. All right, now I do have two more pieces. Obviously, uh, this piece is really cool for me to show off, and it's a really cool brand for me to talk about. It's a brand that I've been kind of doing some research on, I've been learning about, and I think it's really fascinating, and it is a brand called Bodhi. It kind of looks like Bode, but the founder of this brand is Emily Bodhi. It's a New York-based brand. I believe Emily Bodhi is from Atlanta, Georgia, but basically Bodhi is a very unique brand that I want to talk about, especially because if you guys know me, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel, you guys know I love vintage. I don't know what it is about being like in the bins, in the trenches, in the filth of all these dirty clothes. I love feeling the fabrics. I love being in the mix. I spend a lot of time in the bins, and you guys have seen that in the video. Videos. When I walk into a Goodwill outlet or a Goodwill bins and I see it like clean and well kept, I get like a little sad. Like a part of me dies inside because I know my experience isn't going to be quite as fun as if it was just absolutely filthy. But why am I talking about vintage when I talk about this high end brand Bodhi? I mean, this jacket is $1,300. It's not a vintage jacket, right? However, one thing that's really interesting about the brand Bodhi is not only that it is American made and produced all in New York, but the fact that a lot of their goods are created by sourcing antique or vintage fabric. So it's a little bit more sustainable than creating new products. And when I first heard this, I was extremely fascinated because I understand that with vintage products, a lot of those materials, you guys may not think about it, but a lot of those materials deteriorate over time. That's why you'll see a lot of old tees from like the 80s and 90s get dry rot, for example, or they'll get stained from storage. There's just so many different things that can happen to that fabric over the course of 20 to 30 years that can cause it to be somewhat unusable for when you are actually trying to repurpose it into a garment. Now, I don't know if this particular piece was repurposed fabric but what's interesting about Bodhi as well is that a lot of the garments they produce are actually for men but they're produced using traditionally female created patterns like quilts bed linens even sacks of grain so the like my first introduction to Bodhi was seeing a pair of pants online said like Cleveland Ohio and it looked like it came straight from some warehouse in the Midwest and I thought it was really cool I was like wow that's really dope I like those pants and maybe that's why their price point is a little bit higher and if that's what they're doing and they are truly recreating products out of vintage goods I think that's sick you see a lot of people in the vintage community doing that and I think it's dope to see that on such a large scale no not there is it in here no nope, not there either Dang it, I cannot find these freaking shorts. And Vin Diesel's outside racing in my freaking streets again. Basically, I was trying to find a pair of shorts that I actually recreated out of a pair of bed linens, some Ralph Lauren bed linens. I might still have the picture. If I do, I'll post it somewhere on the screen right now. I never ended up posting that picture. I might end up posting it soon, but I made those shorts and I just basically cut out the pieces of fabric that I could still use. So it is possible to do. Now, I got one more piece to show you guys. Before I do that, I do wanna show you guys how I would style this jacket. It's definitely something a little bit different for me. So hopefully you guys like it. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think but let's go check out this outfit and then we'll come back and show you guys the last piece piece it just sounded so freaking epic like the last samurai or some shit like that anyways that being said let's get to the last piece and the last piece of this unboxing is the beautiful nike i'll put it upside down nike sb dunks now this is not a super hype colorway but it is one that i think deserves a little bit more hype and it's something that i want to discuss now if you guys are unfamiliar with what color this is this is the jade horizon pale ivory colorway how you did not know that i have no idea but of course i love this color you have this kind of like washed mint green color and then the other colors throughout the shoe with like the swoosh and the midsole a little bit natural more earth tone colors i want to say these were like under 300 dollars. of course it did come from stadium goods so that's where the pricing came from for those of you guys that don't know a lot of the sneakers that you see on 
on Farfetch come from Stadium Goods so that way you guys can buy directly from Stadium Goods using Farfetch and looking for sneakers. It's not necessarily like a super old SB or anything like that, but it is a super nice colorway. If you guys know me, uh, I've mentioned this before, I've been in the Nike SBs for quite a while. I wasn't always the biggest fan of Dunks. I was more into Blazers and I still am more into Blazers. That being said, I sold a lot of my Dunks when the Dunk market kind of crashed. I don't know why I said it like it was like the 08 recession or something like that. Essentially when the Dunk market crashed, I sold a lot of them because I was wearing like more fitted jeans instead of baggy jeans and these do not look good in my opinion with skinny jeans. So I sold a lot of my grails. Like for example, I always bring this up. My first pair of Nike SB Dunks ever were of course the Space Tigers and I sold those for a fraction of what they're going for right now. That being said, I'm glad to have these in the collection. I did not get a fit with these, but that being said, of course, I gotta show love to Farfetch because Farfetch is a brand, like I said, where they have literally everything. Even in this video, you guys saw some high-end designer Italian luxury brand, a high-end brand from New York where they repurpose vintage clothes, a Supreme hype beast streetwear brand, whatever you wanna call it, whatever Supreme is considered these days, some high-end nice loafers, and some freaking Nike Dunk SB. So I feel like this is the perfect encapsulation of what Farfetch offers. You can literally find everything there. But that being said, let me know what you guys think. I do have one thing though. This jacket, it fit me kind of small, so I kind of want to return it. So when you want to return something, it's super freaking easy. All you got to do is select return. It tells you where the item came from. You select your reason for returning, item too small. You put some little additional information right here. Then you go over here and select continue. You can literally have them come to your house and pick the item up themselves, or you can just do a courier drop off. You select the number of packages that you will be returning and it is that freaking simple. Then you simply take your package to a drop off location like this. And then you just have to bid farewell to that beautiful jacket that was made of absolute perfection and just know that you'll never see that beautiful thing again. It really is sad, honestly. Like I'm actually sad to see that jacket go, but the way the sizing on that jacket works is it's like extra small, 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 medium, medium, large. It's like in between sizes and it just felt like it was a little bit too snug on me, but it looked so freaking cool. But that's one of the reasons why I like Farfetch. They make it super easy to do returns and really they make the entire process from A to Z super simple and super easy. I've shopped at Farfetch before. I've shown you guys a lot of things from Farfetch before. As I've said before, their shipping is super quick. I got all those packages within like two days of ordering them, which I don't know how they do that so consistently because the packages are coming from like three or four different locations. Yet they all arrived on the same day within two days even the overseas packages. Not to mention, like I said before, they offer literally everything, whether you're into streetwear, high-end, whether you're into like hype high-end or hype streetwear or whatever, they have something for you no matter where you are on the fashion spectrum. That's one of the reasons why I love Farfetch so much. They have literally everything and almost any person watching this right now can go to Farfetch and find something that they like. And if you get it in and there's something wrong, you don't like it or it doesn't fit right, it's super easy to return, which I respect a lot because I think that's super important important when you have a company, the customer experience should always be first, which Farfetch does. So like I said, make sure you check out those links in the description down below. I will link all those items. Those Nike SB Dunks that I showed you guys, they still have some really good sizes at that price point. And like I said, you'll literally get it within two days. If you order that shoe anywhere else, it's going to take like two weeks to get. But I'm going to leave links to everything I showed off in the description down below, along with a discount code star 10 FF. Like I said before, you use that discount code, you will get 10% off your order. So make sure you check that out. There are some terms and conditions for that discount code in the description down below low, but just make sure you check out the description, check out those links. There's some other items that are similar to the items that I showed off as well. So if you are interested in those, but there might be a slight little change or something that you might've wanted a little bit different, check out all the links. There are some other items down there as well that I'm personally interested in. And I might end up pulling the trigger on, who knows? Maybe you'll see it on my Instagram soon. If you don't follow me on Instagram, change your life, follow me on Instagram, the star life, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-L-I-F-E. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep you the star life. And I would say peace the fuck out, but you guys are about to watch the full clip of me visiting my mom. So peace. <laughs> I do like them, actually. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you like them at all. I, I, well, I mean, I was expecting a pair of tennis shoes. They actually, you're a self-proclaimed biker chick back in the day, you might like the little- not, That's not biker. What are you talking, look at these metal embellishments. Let me see. They smell good though. <laughs> all right, so what do you think of these then? I like those. So you like these, but you don't like those. No, I like them. Looks like Annie likes these too, huh, Annie? You yeah, like, I like those, Julia? Those are crazy. I do like these. Yeah. What would you wear these with? Well, I already actually shot a with fit video, so you're just gonna have to watch the video when it oh, comes out. Okay. Which I mean, at this point, this is at the end at of the video. These are so. not biker. You're I mean, I can see that looks, you know, kind of resembles a. If that was on a boot, with that my would be... glasses off, it looks like a Harley Davidson emblem, and this is like a. Yeah, whatever. I this don't really like, care what you're saying. I'm just gonna put Annie.